Good afternoon, this is Eric Bach with NEI's Training and Support Department. Today we're going to cover how to transfer some raw TerraSync data files into Pathfinder Office. So to start off, I have uh, TerraSync open on the screen here, and we're going to click on Status and go to Data. And anytime you create a new file here, so I'll call it Eric Test, on the TerraSync software it creates a whole bunch of different folders. In fact, it's eight different folders here. So I'm going to browse to my Geo7x here and I'm going to go to My Documents and TerraSync. And inside of here you'll notice that here's the Eric test file that we just created and there's eight files attached. So whenever you create a TerraSync file on a device, it creates all these different file types. And when you use Trimble Data Transfer Utility in Pathfinder Office, it converts all these eight files into an SSF file. There are times where people send the raw files to somebody, a customer for example, and then they're like, well, what do I do with these? So what I'm going to show you is how to convert these. Some customers, uh, instead of maybe bringing in a geo and plugging it to a computer and connect it to ActiveSync they may just run TerraSync on a disk you'll notice here I have a storage card I don't have any data files on my storage card now but if I were to save a data file here if I created a new one and told my location to storage card we'll call this one NEI test and create it'll now end up on my storage card and if I were to refresh this screen we would now see NEI test and then what we could do is instead of maybe bringing in the GPS I could pop the storage card out of the geo and plug it into the computer you'll notice here I have a, a storage card in here SanDisk E I could basically put the files there so instead of having to bring the unit I could just bring the SD card okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy a set of files from the GPS unit. So these are the raw data files. So I'm going to click on, I know these have some data. So there should be, in this case I have nine files with this one. It's usually eight to nine files. I'm going to copy these and I'm going to go to my C drive and I have a folder in here called My Documents and TerraSync and I'm just going to paste them in here. I already have them in here. I'll just overwrite. Alright, so there are all the raw files and what we'll do now is we'll bring up Pathfinder Office. We're going to go to Utilities and Data Transfer. So right now it's connected to the Geo7x. I'm going to disconnect this and I'm going to click on devices and I'm going to select new because I want to create a new device and in this case you'll see a few different options here the typical one is GIS data logger on Windows Mobile um, there are some email devices however with recent changes to Microsoft security update uh, there this email device is a little harder to set up these days and on older devices it's not possible anymore in this case though we're going to go with GIS folder and I'm going to click on OK and then it says OK where where do you want to connect to so I'm going to browse to that folder that I set up to host my raw data so in this case I call it my documents terracing so I'm going to click OK and I'm going to hit next it's going to ask you what file type is this well terracing these other ones are very older older software that Trimble has developed terracing is the more recent one with this utility here and then our versions 3, 4, and 5x. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to name this. I'm going to call it TerraSync Raw GPS Data. So TerraSync Raw GPS Data. I'm going to hit finish, close, and now you'll see it shows up as one of my type of devices that I can transfer. I'll hit connect and then I'm on my receive tab. I'm going to click on add data file and now this folder should or this file should show up note that it's .gis that is the file that it's going to transfer over 
I'm going to hit transfer all since it's already in my project it's saying do you want to replace it sure and I will hit on close I recommend you always hit disconnect if you don't hit disconnect and you have more than one device it's sometimes it still thinks it's connected to the older device and then you'll get this error that says cannot connect the TerraSync please ensure that it's installed on the device and you know it's installed on the device so basically uh, if you restart the computer it'll fix that or if you just hit this disconnect before you hit close it'll solve that problem as well and just to show you here is now the SSF file so it took all eight files eight or nine files I should say and it converts them into a .SSF alright that is how we transfer TerraSync raw data files to Pathfinder Office